edge of real in cyberspace, there is one place you can go, and you found it. Welcome to KWTV, the one and only screencast that tunes tech into your way of life and lets that technology work for you instead of the other way around, and it actually shows you how it's done. My name's Nightwise, and I'm going to be your host on the coming episode of KWTV, where we talk about IRC, or Internet Relay Chat. Before we get started, I just want to say I hope you guys and girls all have a fantastic 2010. May all of your wishes, except some, you still need some for next year, come true and may uh, success, fortune and glory be yours. So today we're going to talk about IRC or Internet Relay Chat. One of our viewers, listeners, Brent Cameron, sends an email saying, Otherwise, could you do an item about IRC, about that IRC chat that everybody's talking about? So today we are going to show you what IRC is and how you can let it work for you. IRC, Internet Relay Chat. What is it? What's a server? What's a client? How do I connect? Why are there so many servers? What's a channel split? How do I join a channel? How do I behave? How do I talk to somebody in private? How do I talk to an entire group or an entire channel? What do I do? How does it work? Is it worth it? Yes, definitely. We are going to show you how to work IRC like a pro, like a true geek. Might be something that's 20 plus years old, but it's still a very, very powerful tool, especially if you want to get tech support. So, we are going to show you how to get on IRC using a Windows machine, a Mac, uh, we're even going to show you how to do it using nothing but a browser. And then a Windows machine, a Mac, and a Linux machine. Did I mention that? Yeah, I did. Okay. So we're going to use all of the machines. And we are going to show you how to work with IRC. So uh, plenty of uh, stuff to show you. Let's get started. The first question that we, of course, need to answer is, what is IRC? Well, according to Wikipedia, we'll go to the definition, IRC is an open protocol that uses TCP and optionally TLS. An IRC server can connect to other IRC servers to expand the IRC network. Users access IRC networks by connecting a client to a server. There are many client implementations as, such as Merck, XChat and server implementations as the original IRCD. IRC servers do not require users to register an account but a user will have to choose a nickname before being connected. Now, what does this basically mean? IRC is Internet Relay Chat, and for that we need, of course, the Internet. On the Internet, a number of IRC servers are located. There are many of them out there. Uh, for example, irc.realroot.be or irc.free.net. Those are both IRC servers to which you can connect using an IRC client. To each IRC server, there are a number of users who are connected. Some connected to IRC server A, some are connected to IRC server B. Now, connecting to an IRC server to chat, well, you can do that either you know, with your computer, and you can have an IRC client on your computer to connect, or you can have an IRC client on your smartphone. Or you can even go to a website and chat on a website that actually comes with an embedded IRC client. And a great example of that is uh, you have those uh, live chats where you can follow the recording of a podcast. Uh, Ustream, for example. Ustream has a chat window which you can log into on the website. Well, that chat window actually is, is an IRC client that is connected to an IRC server. Now, all of these users are connected to an IRC server, but they're all, you know, in different chat rooms, because that is how IRC works. You connect to a server, and on this server, there are a number of rooms you can join and you can chat in. For example, on IRC server 1, we have uh, the chat room hash Linux and the chat room ponies. And on server number two, we have uh, the chat room Rickroll, for example, and the chat room hash windows. Now you can see that there's a hash in front of it. That's not like IRC, a hash tag, but it is actually to, des to define the name of the channel. So if you hear somebody talk about an IRC channel, basically saying it's hash this or hash that, that is what they're talking about. Each channel is defined 
by a hash and the channel name. Now there are some server, some uh, channels that are specific to a certain server. For example, you have uh, the channel Windows on this server and the channel Linux on that server. If I were to put some users into the Linux channel, and I would, uh, let's take two, they can chat to each other, and I put some users in the uh, Windows channel, these guys can chat to each other. But there isn't um, a way that they can connect to each other from one server to the other. Now, there are chat rooms that are mirrored across several servers. For example, if this uh, channel, the Nightcast channel, were to be available on both servers, that would be cool because the persons from server number two who would be chatting in it would be able to meet up with the person from channel number one. And this is something that is possible, as I said, in the definition of IRC, because these chat rooms actually interconnect to each other and they synchronize across servers. So it doesn't matter if you're connected through server two or if you're connected to server one, if the chat room is synchronized, you can chat on both servers and user from both servers can chat together in the room. That is basically how IRC works. Now, I'm going to show you how to connect to IRC. And we're going to do that on a Windows system. I'm going to show you how it's done on a Linux system using a nice command line application. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a web-based client. So you always know where to go when you want to chat on IRC. Now, first of all, we're going to start with the Windows client and we're going to download an IRC client for our Windows computer. A very good application that's got a very good reputation and is a very decent IRC client is um, MIRC. I go to the MIRC website, click on Downloads, Download MIRC. It's going to redirect us <clears throat> and we can download the client. MIRC is a free client. You can register if you want to. Uh, otherwise, it's going to give you some uh, nag and stuff, but you don't have to pay for it. So let's see. We're going to save that here. Still got my um, Chrome client in, uh, in Dutch. Should change that. Open that. We downloaded the IRC client. It's going to start installing. Click yes to the UAC. It's going to close the browser here. There you go. Basically, this is what you call the next, 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 next install. Read the EULA. Choose where you want to install the application. MIRC can be installed on a memory stick, so you can use it as a portable application. Carry your own MIRC client with you anywhere. You can choose which kinds of uh, installs that you want. You've got a full upgrade custom. Just going to go for the full install. And uh, leave everything by default. And install it. It's a pretty small application. And uh, it's well supported. So run MIRC. The first thing that you're going to see after the MIRC client starts up is the option screen and this option screen will require you to enter some information that you're basically going to need to chat on IRC. So as I did uh, explain in the uh, previous part, IRC basically consists out of three parts. The IRC server and we're going to have to enter which IRC server we want to connect to in this screen. The chat room that you want to chat to, that's something that we also have to enter and your personal username on the IRC server or your IRC nickname. So we'll connect, uh, we'll start by the information screen, this one. Fill in your name, your email address. Never put your real email address there. Just put some, some pseudo there, pseudo. And your nickname. Now, most servers allow nicknames longer than eight characters. Uh, I wouldn't put one of those uh, teeny, uh, teeny Bob MSN uh, nicknames in there with all the colors and the hearts and stuff, you know, what the, the, the young kids like to use. I wouldn't go for that. That is not cool. Um, I'd keep my nickname around eight, nine characters. Mostly I keep it to eight characters because there are still servers out there 
that limit your nickname to eight characters and actually abbreviate it after the eighth character. So Nightwise is nine characters. So I'm going to cheat a little. And your alternative nickname. Should it be that your nickname that you chose is taken, it will immediately default to the alternative, which in my case is a clever eight character alternative. You can either choose to chat in invisible mode when uh, where you connect to the server but nobody can see you but we're going to put the we're going to turn that off <coughs> right now next up we're going to choose what server we're going to connect to as you can see there is a list with tons and tons of servers on here and all of them uh, have several servers where you can connect to now in uh, our case we're going to connect to the freenode server because basically there are a lot of cool channels on there and um, it's just an example that I have to, you know, I have to show you one server, so why not free note? Um, you can actually choose it from this list, like here, free note, the random free note server. But, you know, just say that uh, you want to connect to a server that's not in the list, you can actually add it manually. So click on add description, free node server, and add it manually again. The name of the server, irc.freenode.net. And you'll you'll hear you'll hear this when people talk about IRC. They go like, yeah, join us on this channel on that IRC server. So if they say like oh, join us on Ubuntu on irc.freenode.net, this is where you enter irc.freenode.net. Leave the port by default and just click add. In order to connect to it, select it, double click on it to be sure. It defaults back to this server. You'll see that you're going to connect to the Freenode server and basically hit connect. It pops up these windows with a lot of text. This is basically text uh, coming information coming from the Freenode server. And this is a, a favorites uh, window that you get. And you can, if you want to, uh, join um, channels in this uh, list. But this list is not complete. These are not all the channels that are on there. And this list is getting kind of old. <laughs> Windows 95, come on. So what you basically just do is um, uncheck this one, uncheck this one, and click OK. So you won't be bothered by the window again. Now there is one other window that is in front of us, and it is filled with all kinds of strange text. This is basically your um, server window. Here the information um, the information that's displayed here is the information that is given to you by the server, by the IRC server, and this is the place where you talk to the IRC server and give it IRC commands. Now it sounds very complicated. Basically the IRC server is like a big operator and you can ask uh, to be connected to a certain channel or leave a certain channel from this uh, server window. So in this case, we're going to join the IRC channel uh, of Ubuntu, for example. So we're going to uh, type in the command to join the channel, which is slash, which always prequels a command. Join is the command to join a channel. Hash, because every channel name begins with a hash, and the name of the channel. Let me see. And there you go get some information and <coughs> if you make this this um, window a little larger you'll see here are all the people that are connected in the channel and here is the actual text of people chatting as you can see if somebody says something you see their name and their text now <coughs> the Ubuntu channel is quite a chaotic channel but I just wanted to show it to you because um, there's a lot of activity going on. You can even make this um, tab a little smaller because it will separate your channels. We're going to see that later on. So how do you talk to people? How do you start talking to people? Well, basically, you just you know enter the text that you want to say below. For example, hello, everybody. I'm using this chat window to explain IRC to people. 